What if your two-year-old is not speaking yet, but you know they understand what you are saying? If your child has not yet fully developed their verbal communication, they may be what is commonly referred to as a late talker. What if your two-year-old is not talking but understands you? Late talking is when a child understands more than they can say. While this may be cause for concern for some parents, it is important to remember that all children develop at different rates. In fact, according to the National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders, about 15% of children between the ages of 18 and 24 months old are late talkers. There are several reasons why a two-year-old is babbling but not talking. Sometimes, it may be because they are shy or introverted. It can also be related to hearing loss or other developmental delays. In most cases, however, the cause is unknown. How to know if your child understands you? Receptive language is the ability to understand spoken language, including following directions, answering questions, and understanding stories. If your child has good receptive language skills, they can communicate their needs and wants, even if they are not yet talking. Here are ways of knowing that your child understands you, even if they are not talking yet. Your child follows your gaze. If you are looking at something across the room, your child follows your gaze and looks in that direction too. This is called joint attention, an important milestone in communication development. Your child points. Pointing is one of the first ways babies communicate. If your child is pointing to things they want or need, it is a good sign that they understand what you are saying. Your child responds to their name. If you call your child's name and they look at you, it means they understand that you are talking to them. Your child imitates sounds. If your child makes sounds back when you make sounds, it shows that they are trying to communicate with you. Your child uses gestures. If your child is waving bye-bye or shaking their head no, it means they understand what those gestures mean. How do I know if my child is just a late talker or if it's something more? Expressive language is the ability to use spoken language. This includes being able to say words, put sentences together, and ask questions. If your child has good expressive language skills, they should be able to communicate their needs and wants verbally. Here is a checklist of some ways of knowing that your two-year-old may have an expressive language delay. Your child has a limited vocabulary. If your child only says a few words, they are likely a late talker. Your child uses made-up words, if your child uses words they only understand, it is a good sign that they are trying to communicate, but their expressive language skills are not yet developed. Your child does not imitate words or sounds in their environment. If your child does not imitate the words or sounds they hear, it may indicate a delay. Your child points or gestures to get what they want. If your child is using gestures instead of words to communicate their needs, it may be because they don't yet know the word for what they want. Your child does not put two words together. If your child is not yet saying phrases such as more milk or daddy pig, they are likely a late talker. Your child has difficulty asking questions. If your child can only answer yes or no questions, it is another sign that they are a late talker. Causes of speech delays in two-year-olds. Hearing loss. Hearing loss can make it difficult for infants and toddlers to learn the sounds of speech, which can, in turn, delay their development of language skills. Neurological Disorders Some children may have neurological conditions, such as autism spectrum disorder, cerebral palsy, or Down syndrome, which can cause speech delays. Children with neurological and developmental disorders may struggle with expressive and receptive language. In addition, they may have trouble understanding what others are saying. As a result, children with neurological disorders may not receive the same level of language exposure as other children their age, leading to delays in speech development. 
Intellectual Disability Children with an intellectual disability may have difficulty understanding language or processing information, leading to delayed speech development. Speech and Language Developmental Disorders Children with speech and language developmental disorders may have difficulty producing sounds and forming words, which can result in a delay in speech development. Lack of Stimulation Children who are not exposed to a variety of sounds, words, and conversations may have a harder time developing speech skills. Speech Sound Disorders some children may have difficulty producing specific speech sounds, such as R or S, which can result in speech delays. Cognitive delays Children with cognitive delays may have difficulty understanding and using language, resulting in speech delays. While there are several possible causes of speech delay, often the cause is unknown, and it may be a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Early intervention and therapy can be beneficial in helping children with speech delays improve their communication skills. Does your two-year-old need speech therapy? If you have a concern about your child's speech and language development, the best thing to do is to consult with a professional at the first signs of a problem. If your child is not yet talking, but you feel they should be, you can ask your pediatrician for a referral to a speech therapist. A speech therapist can assess your child's development and guide you on what you can do to help. In some cases, speech therapy for your two-year-old may be recommended. Remember that early intervention is critical if your child is a late talker. Late language emergence is not always a cause for concern, but it is important to consult a professional to rule out any underlying issues. With the proper support, your child will develop the skills they need to communicate effectively. At Connected Speech Pathology, we specialize in working with toddlers and their families. We understand the challenges of raising a nonverbal or late-talking child and are here to help. We offer various services, including individual therapy and parent coaching. Contact us today for a free consultation to learn more about how we can help your family.